experience? Well, when I was arrested, um, I was taken to the van and uh, handcuffed very tightly, and the uh, feeling went away in my hands, and I kept asking them to loosen the handcuffs, and they go, well, we can't loosen them, they won't loosen them. So finally, then they took me from down here in downtown Charlotte out to the processing center they've set up for the conventions, and it looks like a big old concentration camp out there, and uh, there's a whole bunch of people standing around with nothing to do. You get out there, they process you, they um, take all your clothes and put you in an orange jumpsuit. It takes a few hours. Then they chain you all up together and handcuff you together. You got ankle chains and handcuffs, and I was with about 10 guys, took us back in here, processed us into the Mecklenburg County Jail, and, um, you know, it took maybe five or six hours from the time I was arrested to finally get put in the cell block. They put me in like a little bitty one-person cell with a sink and a toilet, and the toilet actually got plugged up for a while, which was bad. And they barely let me out of there. I mean, they let you out sometimes for food and for the count when they count to see if you're there or not. But the majority of the time I was locked up in that little cell and they keep the light on 24 hours a day and they had mental health coming to talk to you because they realized that those conditions uh, are really bad for people to be locked up like a little animal in a very little cell and they want to know if you're thinking about killing yourself and things like that. That's free. Mental health is free because they don't want nobody to kill themselves and make the jail look bad. But if you have to go for medical care over there and you have any money in your commissary, they take um, $20 uh, out of your commissary just to see a nurse. If you have a headache and you want a Tylenol, you got to pay 20 bucks to get it. And you got to get on the list. You know, they were telling me. In fact, the inmates called the place the plantation over there, and the inmates were telling me that um, they were worried if they had serious medical uh, issues, like a heart attack, that they wouldn't treat them unless they signed a release saying they were going to pay them the $20. Now, I think that's cruel and inhumane treatment. I think they violate international law, putting people in those little cells and keeping the light on 24 hours a day, making them pay for medical care. I mean, it sounds like a third world country, the way they treat prisoners, but here, here at the Mecklenburg County Jail, Poor People's uh, Torture Center Plantation, that's what they do with people. Now, right at the same time Obama's getting crowned for the coronation of the Democratic Party here in Charlotte, talking about how he's uh, for the poor and, and the minorities and people that are having problems, this town is locking up and torturing people for being homeless and not having any money. And then when you get out, they drive you back out to that uh, processing center, 15 or 20 miles out of town. Takes you a long time, same process, chain, handcuffed. Even though you're getting out, they still treat you, no talking, get up against the wall. Took me about three hours to get processed out of there. Then they dump you out on the side of the road with one city bus coming by, and if you don't have any money, you can't get back into town other than you got to walk or hitchhike, which hitchhiking is illegal, or uh, panhandle is illegal, but the, uh, some of the homeless people were uh, panhandling at the gas station when I got over there, and I gave them all two bucks. I, I brought everybody back into town that didn't have any money, gave them all cigarettes, and so it was a... It was a like a hard experience on me because I did it a month in solitary confinement for protesting nuclear weapons and this kind of brought all those feelings back. I hadn't been put in a situation like that for a long time and, and I was really honestly climbing the walls over there. Uh, I was only in for about 34 hours but if I was going to be in there for any longer period of time uh, I would definitely have serious mental damage done to me by being locked in that little cell and hardly getting out of it.